Yo what's up, it's Soka and I'm gonna show you how to install Kino mod for CarX and also how to get modded maps working for Kino. So the first thing you're gonna need before you download any of this stuff, also I'm gonna have all these links in the video description below. The first thing you're gonna need is Winrar. You're gonna need this so you can extract these downloads. If you already have Winrar you can skip forward in the video but you're gonna download the Winrar 0.02 English 64. You just click this EXE. You just have to double click it. Click yes. And then you're going to install it. I'm not going to install it because I already have it. But you're just going to click install. And you know, it's going to look all like this. Once you have WinWar installed, the next thing you need to download is Bepinex. Bepinex 5.4 18. I'm gonna have this link as well in the bottom of the video. You scroll down after you click this link and you're gonna wanna download the 64 54 18 0 zip folder. You take this, you drag it to your desktop, and then you right click it and extract to Bepinex. Once you have this folder up, you're gonna have these files inside here. The next thing you need to do is go to Steam. You go to Steam, you click your library, and then you locate your game. You're gonna right click it, go to properties, and then you wanna do this. Go to betas, and then make sure your game is on moddable public moddable branch. If it's on none, your mods will not work at all. So make sure this is enabled for your game. After that, you go to local files, and then you click browse. This is going to show you the directory of your, your game files. So you basically, you take all these files and you drag it into your game. After you do that, you, t you double click on Weapon X. Let me go to my other folder real quick, so I can show it side by side. And then, after you double click inside your folder, you're not going to have all the stuff in here by default. So this is what you have to do. You're going to have to make a folder inside of yours after you drag this into your game called plugins. After you make this folder called plugins, this is where you're going to drop all the keynote stuff. I already have mines inside here. So you go again down to the, the bottom of the video and then you're gonna find the download for this wait where am i i'm so lost yeah you're gonna have a link for this you want to click release don't download the source code ones they're not gonna work you want to download the release drag it to your desktop do the same thing extract to it'll put it right here your desktop then all these files that are inside here, you want to drag and drop all these inside of your game. The next thing you need to do is start CarX. When you start up CarX and your Keto mod is not working, you have to make sure your CarX is on the moddable version. You right click it, you click properties click betas and then you click this little drop down it will show you all the versions make sure you're on moddable if it's not on moddable it won't work also if we go back to the, the kino link there's an installation guide if you click install and scroll down just a little bit it says if mod doesn't work or you get a runtime like DLL error is missing. You gotta install C and also try installing this. And then make sure you restart your computer so you know all your drivers and stuff can settle. We're gonna start CarX now so I can show you the rest of the steps. The first sign you'll have that you know all your stuff is working it'll show mods and it'll say k and loader 
3.21. Now we're inside of Car X. On your keyboard, you're gonna press F4. It's gonna show up like this. It's gonna say, select your language. Select whatever language you know, you natively speak. I'm gonna put English, because, you know, I speak English. It's gonna give you a little rundown. The small gear at the top right corner allows you to open the window for adjusting different modes and features. No, that's the little the license little plate feature, the neon, the headlights and stuff. Click on the L button to open the GitHub page for more detailed information on each feature. So if you guys want to know anything, you know, like a more detailed description on like how these features work, you can click the help and that will bring you to a page explaining everything. And then this little dot on the right is how you close the windows. You can teleport to a player by clicking on their name. Press on the S button next to a player's name in the list to see their team. So if you click their name, you'll TP to them. And if you press S, it'll show like their tire width, their engine specs and stuff. All right, so bet we have Kino installed. There's a lot of, you know, cool things you can do with Kino, but in this video, I'm just going to show you how to get maps working. With Kino Rimless, you can make a lobby, you can host it, you know, just like any other normal lobby. When you join a Kino room, you have to press F4 on your keyboard to open your mod. You click maps. And then we click this. At the moment, we don't have any maps, but I got you sorted. Inside of the official Kino Discord, if you go down to map sharing, there's a bunch of maps in there that have been converted over, some made from scratch. But for this video, we're gonna do Mayhan. So you click this link, it's gonna bring you to the Google Drive. You click this download, and then you click download anyway. I already have it downloaded and I have it on my desktop. You just right click it, click extract to. I'm not going to do that because I already have it right here. You go inside this folder and then you make sure that all the contents are underneath, you know, your main folder name. The next thing you have to do is go back into your game directory and then you'll have a maps folder. You basically just take this map and you drag and drop it into your game. A fun tip, you don't have to you don't have to restart your game when you put a map in. You can stay inside of a lobby. You just click the little drop down now and then you click Mayhan. It'll load up for you. Your game might stutter a little bit. Everything is fine. But just you know it's taking this time to load the map. And then boom. That's basically how you use do everything and get it sorted. If you want to fly around a map, you'd press F1. You can change the speed. You'd have to do it inside of here. You can also set a waypoint. So basically what setting a waypoint does, let's say if I, you know, if I want to spawn over here and not respawn in the area like if you want to spawn in it, you just press F4, you click on waypoints, and then can set a new waypoint type it whatever you want it to I'm just gonna type it like that for just for now and then basically you would respawn to that waypoint all the time there's a little time run but you can make a waypoint and respawn to you you can also set it as a quick waypoint I'm pretty sure it's F2 yeah it's F2 or whatever on your keyboard to like respawn back and that's basically how you install a modded maps with Kino mod and to get everything set up. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment and let me know if this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night. Have a good one. Bye.